What's up YouTube? Home Theater Guy Don here today with an update video on my theater room. I am proud to say that the theater room is pretty much done. A little finishing touches here and there, um, you know, what I gotta do, but overall, basically everything in this room is done. Um, I do have a few small things that I wanna get to um, and we'll go over that a little later. So basically what I want to do is kind of go around the room, give you guys an idea of what I got in the room. Um, and yeah, basically just give you an overview. So, um, the most important thing in this room, obviously being a theater room, I'd have to say is the projector. Um, if you're someone like me who's, you know, on a budget, who wants good quality, but, you know, has to stay in a budget, basically, I would recommend the Epson 2045, which is my projector. Um, I absolutely love it. It gives off a great picture. Um, being a sports fan that I am, I can say that the, the motion on the screen doesn't get blurred. Um, the Epson has really done a phenomenal job on that. So here is basically how I hung my projector. I got that little um, mount on Amazon. It's a cheap mount. I think it was like 20 bucks, something like that. I mounted it. We ran the wires through the ceiling, put power right there, obviously, as you guys can see. Um, and what are we up here? As you can see there, this is the Epson 2045. And again, I can't speak enough about this product. It's awesome. So anybody looking for a great projector, you can get it on sale. Be patient. I got mine for 550 bucks. Um, next on the list is obviously the projector screen. Um, the projector screen, I purchased um, Carl's Blackout Cloth. Let me get a better view. Purchased Carl's Blackout Cloth and I made my own DIY frame and I put Crow 1176's hybrid screen paint on to the surface um, again one of the best investments I made in this room all in everything wood frame screen paint it was 250 bucks my screens over 150 inches it's a big screen it's over 11 feet wide over 6 feet tall um, 16 by 9 um, and I absolutely love the projector screen that I got um, at the end of this video, I'll give you guys a little, a little look at what the Epson and the screen do together as a, as a whole, so you guys can check that out. The next thing that I want to talk about would be the receiver. Um, this is the Yamaha RX A660. Hope you guys can see that. It's kind of a little bit dark there, um, and. I got this from Best Buy. Again, I got it on sale. I don't remember if it was 300 or 350, but it was one of those and it was, um, I mean, it gives out great sound um, to my speakers. I've had no issues with it. I absolutely love it. Um, it does a great job and I'm really happy that I got this receiver. So anybody looking for a budget receiver, again, this is a pretty expensive receiver, at least for my standards. I think the regular price is like 600 or 650 and uh, and Best Buy had it on sale for three or 350 so I definitely scooped that up. Next thing on the list would have to be the surround sound, all right? Um, all my speakers, right now I have a 5.1. I, I am wired for 7.1, um, but I haven't purchased any speakers for the ceiling yet. I did run the wire, so all I have to do is cut the drywall and 
and put the wires in and it's a simple thing just haven't made up my mind what I want yet here I have my Klipsch um, speakers had these speakers for a little while now and I absolutely love them um, for what I'm doing in this room it's way more than enough um, there's the center speaker there again another Klipsch speaker and here's the front right same thing let me give you guys a view here you can see what I'm working with put this back on it's all magnetized pretty nice so yeah um, we'll go back to the back surrounds clips again more clip speakers awesome quality product for a good price I've had mine for a while so I don't even know what they cost obviously a theater has to have comfortable seating and so I have leather power reclining chairs um, you know you just press a button here and it reclines out I could do a better job of hiding this wire just haven't gotten around to that yet I just finished so I'll get to that soon again a sofa on top and then I have a nice little table up here which is kind of where I you know if I had friends over watching a game a little better for a game atmosphere I do have another chair um, that I put up here I just don't have it in the room at the time now here's the big reveal I finally just finished this platform I couldn't be happier with it um, it's basically about a 10 inch platform um, all together and it just is perfect I mean it the back row clears the front seats there's no problem there which is obviously why you're building a platform in the first place <clears throat> I decided to go all the way from one side of the room all the way to the other side um, left about an inch on one side so I could run some wires behind and I mean I think that was a great idea so I could just have everybody up higher on this platform. I'm pretty tall and I have no problems. The ceilings are about eight and a half feet. Um, so I still have room and everything like that. Um, if you guys have watched some of my older videos, I had the sofa on the other side and the table on the other side um, in the opposite setting. I thought this was better just because you wouldn't have to worry about hitting your head where the receiver is if you're sitting in a chair. There's more room to move around here on this side. That's my chair right there, for the most part. So that's basically the um, the seating and the platform. Um, then I also have the acoustic paneling, which I actually plan on getting more. That you know is a super easy thing to do. So I'll get some more acoustic paneling. Um, but I've had I've noticed a difference in the echoing in the room. It sounds better with them. The blackout curtains and sound deadening curtains I got off Amazon. Um, you know really inexpensive they've done a great job I don't know if you guys can tell but it's like broad daylight outside right now super bright I live in Florida so we get a lot of sunlight um what am I forgetting here yeah I think that's pretty much it um, if you guys have any questions about anything specific please let me know um, I'm just really proud of the job that I've done on a, you know, on a budget. Um, obviously painted the room, make it a little darker. It's a pretty dark gray. Um, and so, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. Now let me give you guys a little bit of footage of what the projector can do. I'll turn the lights down here. Not all the way off. Check it out. There it is. As you guys can see right there, you get great dark tones and color. You saw the contrast in the last one. Here, you got great whites. 
I mean, the yellow pops. It almost looks like it's coming off the screen. Um, the screen paint does really well with 3D. The, the projector is a 3D projector. Um, you guys can see the tones here. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And I have plenty of light in this room right now, too. I just want to show you that. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, you know, the lights are on. Yeah, they're dimmed down for sure. Um, the screen washes out a little tiny bit when the lights are fully on, full blast, and the windows are open. But, you know, I can turn the lights up more than this and still get this beautiful image. I mean, you guys can see it right there. It's unbelievable. So, I'm just really happy with this theater and all in, I mean, I don't know. I, I've had some of the stuff in here, like the like the the power recliners and and the and the speakers, but I'm sure that you can get this job done for less than probably four grand altogether, maybe five grand probably. Um, if anybody's really interested, I'd be more than happy to try to figure out the exact totals. Just you know, shoot me a question or email or whatever, and I'll try to do the best I can to answer as soon as I can. So, again, the images here are unbelievable. You guys can see how white those whites are. Um, hopefully we'll get another dark scene here in a minute so you guys can see how great the blacks look as well. Next project, just a little update uh, for the subscribers and anybody else who's maybe looking to subscribe, is going to be what I'm going to be doing outside. Um, I made a, a short little video um, to show you guys my outdoor space. I have um, built the, the furniture that I'm going to have out there and now I just need to come up with an idea for the projector and the screen that I'm going to, where I'm going to be placing it. Um, and uh, so stay tuned for that and I appreciate you guys watching um, and thanks for the support and the the ideas um, so thanks again and I will see you guys on the next video so theater guy Don is out of here later guys